Hi, I'm Joanna and I'm an illustrator. Today I'm sharing a tutorial on how to render embellishments. I was inspired by this Marquesa gown and I thought it was a great way and an example to show you how I render all the fine little details. For this tutorial I used Copic markers, a micron pen, 2H pencil, color pencils, a white color pencil, white gouache, a small paintbrush, white gel pen, and erasers. I'm starting off with a basic pencil sketch using my 2H pencil and I'll go ahead and link here um, another video that I did that helps you to draw the basic fashion figure. I'll also link another video that I've already done, a tutorial on how to render the basic fashion face and hair. Um, so you can use those tutorials and refer to them um, if you're stuck on how to do all of the stuff that I do before I start working on the embellishment. They're pretty helpful. Okay, so now I'm going to slow it down so you can follow along closely. I always test out before I start working on my embellishments the colors that I'm using. So I'm going to go ahead and test out here the green. I like the green, but then I realized that I forgot to color in the transparency on the top of her dress. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill that back in with skin tone um, to make it look transparent. And then I'm going to go ahead and color in the dress because that should happen first before you color in your embellishment. So I just go over um, the sleeves being very light with my marker so that you can still see her arm showing through so it shows transparency. And then I'll go ahead and do the same kind of thing to the skirt that's a little bit more opaque. So I'll add a little bit more um, color to the skirt which you'll see in a little bit. I'll start from the top and use quick light brush strokes to keep the whole garment feeling airy and light. And then I use the same technique working from the bottom up. This helps to illuminate the folds in the gown and create dimension. Now that I've finished filling in the base color of her dress, I can start adding details. The first detail is to fill in the little cute bow at her waistline with color. And I'll go back over it with 2H pencil to define the outline of the bow. Now I can go back to my embellishment, so I'll pick up my green marker again and start creating more squiggly little dots to represent the flowers and I'll sprinkle them throughout the garment in varying sizes, sort of scattering them evenly um, because I'm going to come back over with multiple colors to represent multiple kinds of flowers. So don't go too heavy on one color, you want everything to be sort of evenly dispersed. With my coral colored marker, I'm going to go back in and do the same thing, creating these squiggly little floral like embellishments. And like I said before, I'm going to spread out the color so it's not highly concentrated one color in a certain area. Just keep everything sort of evenly dispersed so it looks like a rainbow of embellishment when we're done. So I'm going to use the same technique with all the other remaining colors that were in the original supplies list photo. And you just sort of add, keep adding the layers of color and it's really pretty when it's done. It does take a little while um, to go through all the colors and add all the little floral spots. But like you said, it creates a beautiful effect. So once I'm done adding all of the color of my embellishments, I'm going to go in with a fine micron pen and add little flower outlines around some of the embellishments. I'll also add little dot centers to some of the flowers and create little leaves, um, just sort of adding definition to the color so that it doesn't look like a bunch of splotches.
I'm pretty much at this point done with the micron pen, but I realized I wanted to add a little bit more of the pink color and fill in the embroidery, so I just went back with my Copic marker and filled in a little bit. With my white gel pen, I'm going to go back over the embroidery and add little highlights and sparkles to some of the flowers. You can do this by sort of outlining the edge of each little flower, or you can add little dots in the center of the flower, sort of however you'd like to do it. Um, just add a little touch of highlight in some of the blooms. The next step is to use my white colored gouache and I'm going to add a little bit more highlight on the bow and then add larger spots of highlight on some of the blooms. It just adds dimension to the flowers and it makes some of them stand out and some of them recede and really creates a 3D effect. The last step is using my 2H pencil to add soft shadows and define the outermost line of the garment. I like to use the 2H pencil to add folds, add any last remaining details, and then I'm done! I hope this tutorial was helpful in seeing how I render all those tiny embellishments, and if you liked the video, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching!